Wall Street Journal reporter Saeed Shah joins me now from Islamabad. And uh, there was a big gathering, wasn't there, at the hospital because um, a prominent lawyer had been uh, shot and the body taken there. Yes, it seems to have been uh, very cleverly planned, uh, this particular attack. They, they shot and killed a, uh, the head of the Provincial Bar Association. And then when lawyers had gathered at the hospital to uh, receive his body from the, uh, from the mortuary, uh, a suicide bomber went among, the, among this throng of lawyers and uh, blew himself up. And there were a lot of journalists also who'd come to, uh, who'd come of, you know, to report on the original assassination. So really it was a scene of uh, utter horror and devastation in the sort of courtyard of the hospital. I mean, there were bodies strewn everywhere, bleeding lawyers trying to get up. Um, and the, the, the death toll was just very high. Does this play into the other scenes of violence that we've heard from in that region? Well, Pakistan has been going through uh, many years of terrorist attacks. And, uh, you know, th this is likely the work of one of the jihadist groups. Uh, in the past, the Pakistani Taliban has, uh, has done attacks like this, but we're not sure because there's no claim of responsibility so far. Um, but over the last couple of years, there's been a, a sort of concerted counter-terrorism drive in Pakistan. So actually, the number of attacks is down. And so something like this is really saying to the country that, yes, the terrorists are still there. They're trying to, you know, make their presence felt again. Okay, Saeed Shah, thanks for joining us from Islamabad.